Augustus Winsock, the oldest cyclist in the world. Not really, of course, that chap's only about 52. But what makes some cyclists live longer than others? Well, it's all about road safety. And for me, that's all about arm signals. That's what Augustus did very well. So what are some cyclists in London doing? Are they using proper arm signals? Let's find out. And let's find out what other road users think about them. Do they give proper arm signals? They don't give two hand signals. Well, they do some of them, but the majority don't bother. But do they give any uh, proper arm signals? They always do. Do they give good arm signals? Rodney, uh, tell me about uh, cycling in London. Uh, fairly safe and fairly enjoyable. I sometimes cycle on pavements if it's a, a one-way street, but I always give way to pedestrians, stop, get off, slow down. So I don't, I don't whiz down pavements like a tank. Do you use the sort of proper old-fashioned arm signals? Actually, yes. So, yes, for my own security, so that the cars behind know where I'm going. And do you find that other cyclists do the same sort of arm signals? I haven't noticed, but they may. If I were to ask you to demonstrate a right-hand arm signal, I'm going to pull back now, would you be able to do it for me? And uh, do you use the uh, correct sort of arm procedures yep. for turning left and right? If I were to ask you to demonstrate a right-hand turn signal, would you be able to do it for me? If I pull back now... Yeah. Okay. Do you give good arm signals so that they can see where you're going? Yeah, if I've got time for it. Can you demonstrate a German arm signal if All you were right. cycling? I am cycling. Yes. I want to make this. And I turn off. That's it. In Germany you just break, but in Denmark you pull up your arm like this. And then everybody knows this one will break. And the name of the band again, sir? Okay. 